and the soft, shy face of the Olympics' top gymnast and her gold medal kiss to her late grandmother. 84-pound Lilia Patkopayeva from the industrial city of Donetsk in the Ukraine, 370 miles southeast of Kiev. Saluting a grandmother who died just weeks ago, a grandmother who took her to a local gymnastic club when she was five years old. A grandmother who insisted every Sunday be spent for cultural pleasure, creating within Lilia a sincere love for ballet. A grandmother who almost lived long enough to enjoy this crowning moment. But this victory wasn't just for her, it was with thoughts for a mother that raised her without a father's help, a mother that could provide little beyond basic needs. It was for a coach. She refused to leave since age nine, even though the former Soviet sports machine beckoned. And this 17-year-old's victory was for a new independent country, Ukraine, where millions are poverty-stricken with so little hope, so little confidence, so little to cheer. Ukraine presented with a dimpled-cheeked national superstar to make them all proud. As Americans watch Thursday, twisting with each U.S. move, agonizing over every misstep, shouting loudly with every stuck American dismount, empathizing with every tear, it is understandable that so few of us saw Lilia Podkopayeva, her major move to the gold medal, highlighted by a floor exercise routine that featured a one-of-a-kind. Double front, half twist. Though her music was drowned out by deafening cheers from a pro-U.S. audience, she hit while Americans missed. It was a win all the more to be admired by the fact that it's the first time ever a woman has won the gold medal on a team that finished outside the top three. She is the Ukraine team. And her popularity was supremely evident by the fact that so many other competitors from other nations took time to quickly congratulate her success. Lelia is described as mature and bright and desperately shy. In fact, it's hard for her to smile. This week, her poor country is doing that for her. Ukraine has a celebrity. Even we Americans can see that now.